It feels like every other day, a new AI technology or a new AI service or other tools are announced. There has been a huge influx of AI content lately due to the rapid surge of AI tools, and I don't think it is gonna slow down anytime soon. So today, we're gonna take a look at a great character and avatar creation AI. It can generate avatar faces based on images or text description, and the results are shocking to say the least. Chat Avatar, in my opinion, is one of the best avatar creators on the market right now. I know, some people might say it is overselling it, and the truth is, I was skeptical at first as well. However, after trying it, I can safely say this is one of the best and is gonna be super useful for 3D artists, game developers, VFX artists, and even people who work in education, content creation, or entertainment in general. But first, let's keep something clear. Chat Avatar does not generate full characters. It only generates faces. There are options to include back of the head geometry and texture, and maybe eyes, but that's it. The software's ability to nail faces is nothing short of impressive and jaw-dropping, and the website offers plugins for all the major 3D software out there, like Maya, Max, Unreal, Unity, Dash 3D, Blender, and more. And of course, because a lot of you are Blender users, I quickly installed the Blender add-on and try to generate this face, the one and only Todd Rosendale. And I think the quality of the faces is outstanding. But what surprised me even more is the speed at which the faces are generated. The add-on will help you import the models inside Blender, and the topology is just perfect. Now, I can import the face and sculpt it even further, and trying to reach this level manually, starting from a cube, is very time consuming but generally speaking, the model is pretty good. Just attach the body and you are good to go. You can also use this as a base model or a starting point and adjust it even further. As you can see, the AI did a great job at capturing all the major facial features, but still, this is almost all the way there. It just needs a little bit of touches. I mean, final touches. To start using Chat Avatar, Click the link in the description and sign up for a free account. The sign up process is very simple, and once you're signed into your account, you will get 10 credits to use for downloading. Generating faces is free for both text and image generation, and the credits are used when you want to export those faces, which we'll take a look at step by step. The website interface should look like something like this. From the top left, you can keep track of your credits. And right next to that is an option to download Chat Avatar plugin for various different 3D packages. Right under that, you can see two buttons which you might miss because I missed them too the first time. The first one is for Text to 3D, and the other one is for Image to 3D. So, what is Text to 3D? Well, basically, you're gonna describe your character or avatar that you want with as many details as possible. The steps involve a back and forth with a chatbot, which will ask you a few questions about the avatar that you are trying to generate. And to access Texture 3D, click this button right here. After that, hit Generate, which will invoke a new window. Here you can see the prompt on the left, where you can type the character description manually, or you can use the chatbot. The prompt will be auto-generated, based on that conversation, which is interesting. So, you can provide information like age, ethnicity, the shape of the face, color of the skin, facial hair, and so on. And as you answer questions, the AI is adding those parameters automatically. A pro tip is to use parentheses to emphasize away part of the prompt. So, if you want the character or the AI to focus on the feature, put it in between parentheses, like big nose or small mouth, in addition to other stuff if you want to. And the opposite, if you want to de-emphasize a part of the character, you can put them between brackets. Furthermore, you can set the weight of any command by setting a number like, like this one. Now you can pick between different models, and there are four of them. Dream Phase version 1 and 2, Hero Style, and Tunify. Right under that, there are a few suggested prompts and keywords. And finally, 
a customized seed value that you can adjust to get different results. Now all that is left is to hit generate and a new avatar will be generated based on your parameters. This will only take a few seconds and a 3D preview will be visible where you can inspect your model. To share your model or download it, click the export button at the top which will offer you to export quality of 2K and 4K. Once you select the export option you prefer, hit pay. And if you have enough credit, the pack process will start and it will take a few minutes. After that, you can hit download. Any model you generate can be found under the mine tab on the left. Now that we exported our avatar, we can now import it into Blender. And to do that, we need to install the add-on. You can find it at the top or at the bottom or even in the export window so you can't miss it. Now download it and install it like you install any other add-on. However, you might experience a short freeze when you enable the add-on because I know I did. This might be the case because there are a few things working in the background or being installed at the same time. But overall, it is not a problem. Now, the add-on is not on the end panel as most add-ons are. This add-on will be added as an option under the import menu. You can find a new item labeled import chat avatar package. Now go ahead and click that and then hit import. Navigate to where you downloaded the zip file and open it. Pick the resolution and the topology and hit confirm. That's it. Now the generated model is imported into Blender. It is best to use cycles so that you retain the shader and the material properties. But that's about it. That was text to 3D avatar. Now for image to 3D, we're gonna pick the other option. Here we can drag and drop one of multiple images of this field. Or you can navigate manually and select them manually. The images have to be clear portraits with bright lighting and preferably no shadows. Once the upload is finished, you will get a few options that you can adjust. First of all, the AI automatically identifies the image and gives you a few tags automatically, but you can click on any of them to get more options. You can also add more tags to the prompt manually by clicking the plus icon here. It usually does a great job, so it identified the he as a male, above 40 years old. And I'm gonna add facial hair and a beard. Next is the weight value, which can be adjusted using the slider. Camera parameters are for the type of the shot, whether it be telephoto, medium shot, detailed shot, or you can pick a custom focal length. Each of these options will allow you to further pick different face types. And finally, you have advanced options where you can choose the skin tone and adjust a few parameters. Now you can hit generate and after a few minutes, you should be able to see the result. Now hit back to export the model and similar to Taxi 3D, you can pick the resolution. Following that, you get to choose whether you want to export the default model or meta human model. The default option has under it more parameters like rigid body, eye and teeth, expression blend shapes, and back hat textures. Each of these are self-explanatory. You can pick whichever you like. And remember, each of these options will include how many credits are required to complete the operation. Once you hit pay, the packed file will be on the export page same as before. And depending on the parameters you selected, you will have to select that as well in the import window inside the Blender. And this is it. Chat Avatar is a really great way for generating faces and if this seems interesting to you, you will find all the necessary links in the description. The first 99 users that use the link in the description will get extra 10 credits. And don't forget, let us what you know in the comments section below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.